Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to talk about matrix multiplication. And when I say matrix multiplication, I'm saying when I have a matrix and I multiply it by another matrix. So we're going to review that. I'm pretty confident that most people watching this have multiplied matrices at some point in the past. Um, but even if not, we're going to review it as if you have never seen it before. And we'll get a little practice with it. And then I'm going to talk about multiplying intuples together. Uh, and you'll see how really it's just an extension. And in fact, you've probably done it before without even realizing it in some of your other courses. So I'm going to try to tie everything up into a bow at the, at the end. So just try to get through it with me and see how I conclude this lesson to see if I've done a good job at that. So if I want to uh, define the multiplication of two matrices, I'll have matrix A multiplied by matrix B. Uh, no, normally in matrix algebra, algebra, we do not write a dot between them. Uh, just like in algebra, you can have x, y, or a, b. That means a times b. Well, same thing here. We have matrix a times matrix b. Um, but this multiplication in terms of linear algebra, in terms of matrices, is defined only if the following thing is true. Uh, the columns of matrix A is equal to the rows of matrix B. And that becomes obvious when you learn how to multiply these things together, but I'm writing it out in words so that you have something to anchor yourself to in the beginning. But as you get more practice, when you try to multiply things together and you know how to do it, you'll realize when it doesn't work. Uh, and, and the case when it doesn't work is when the columns of matrix A do not equal the rows of matrix B. So let's say I have matrix A and matrix B. Um, and so this could be matrix A. Matrix A would be 2, 1, 0, um, 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 4, 3. This is a 3 by 3 square matrix. All right, and we're going to call this matrix A. All right, now we're going to multiply it by another matrix, which I'll do in red here. All right, and matrix B will be 1, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, so this guy in red here is matrix B. We want to multiply these things together. Now, first of all, notice that the columns of A, we have three columns of A, and the rows of B, three rows of B are equal. So because the columns of the first matrix are equal to the rows of the second matrix, that allows the multiplication to proceed. In fact, if we switch these things around and try to take B times A, it doesn't actually work out. If you actually kind of pretend for a second that this one was over here, and then we were multiplying this guy times the purple matrix if we moved it to the other side. The columns of the first matrix is two. The rows of the second matrix, if we move this over here, the rows would be three. So the columns of 